This Good is Gen man. Z, Gen oh, Z. This Gen is Z millennials. Thinking. And this is millennials. Much easier. It's so we should do this on the red gonna... carpet. Yeah. We'll do well, half, like and half, half, half and half. Heart or something. Being able to do this. Half and half. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey everyone, welcome to our BAFTA TV Awards with Piano Cruises Nominations Lowdown. I'm Tom Allen. And I'm Michelle Visage, and we are your red carpet hosts. And we are excited to dive in and talk to you about this year's BAFTA TV nominees. What a bunch. First of all, though, I know you were hosting the red carpet last year, Michelle. Yes. Uh, what was that like? Any tips for me? Really fun. Mm. I think the biggest tip would be to wear comfortable shoes. Oh, I like that you say that. I've got very into a comfortable shoe, actually. An espadrille? I don't mind it. Yes. I don't mind an espadrille Same. at all. Because I, I have fallen arches. Oh, oh mm. dear. Mm. Mm. So, you know. A nice insert would help. You know, I've never found one that fits. I'll take care of that. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Who said it's going to be all, all glamour today? The excitement. Oh, it is palpable in here. Yes, <laughs> you it can is. Cut the glamour with a knife. You can. So tell me what you watched last year. Well, I really enjoyed a lot of fabulous live programs. Did Particularly, you? I would say the Eurovision Song Contest was a real highlight. That was fun. Oh my goodness, all the heats and the final and the drama and the, the, the stage managers coming up to change the set really quickly. Did you see any of those videos? Yes, it was fun anyway. Oh, you know, it it's fun. always fun. Yeah. But this past year was really thrilling. Oh my goodness, yeah. I love that. I also love the Sixth Commandment with Timothy Small. Very oh serious. my goodness. Very serious. You got into the drama. Well, I do, I do have a tendency to do that sometimes. Um, <laughs> Michelle, what did you enjoy? Well, listen, last year when we were there, I was talking about Happy Valley, and I was like, oh. where? That's because, you know, it's a year off. Mm. So this year, I think we can get really all the accolades that show really deserves. Yes, that's often the case, isn't it? Because of the, the period of the award nominee eligibility, the thing you just watched actually isn't eligible that year. So you're like, why isn't Happy Valley mentioned more? Correct. Yeah. That's why. So That's we get why. to see that. A Top Boy, of course. There's oh. a lot of great shows that are there, both reality and scripted and comedy, mm. of course, as of well. Of course, of course, of course. It all blurs into one, I find. It sure does. Sometimes I'm having a dramatic experience. I burst out laughing. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> so we can agree that 2023 has been an amazing year of TV and we can't wait to celebrate it on the 12th of May. But for now, let's take a look at the brilliant nominees. Okay, first up, we're gonna talk about female comedy performance. Okay. Yes, some funny, funny people here. And who doesn't love to laugh? Who doesn't love to, bless you for saying laugh. Thank you. You've been spending a lot of time with us, haven't you? I'd actually, if, if, if I was from here, I'd probably be Northern. So I would and say I laugh, wouldn't I? You would say probably laugh. Yeah. Laugh. Laugh. We're gonna have a right laugh. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh. Yeah. As I think if I was American, I'd probably be from New Jersey. Yeah. Do you, do you reckon? Yeah, I oh. think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how everybody imitates me when yeah. they try to do an imitation. I don't sound like that. No, you don't sound Thank like you, that. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. Me too. <laughs> Now, 41% of nominees across all performance categories are first-time nominees. Wow. That's 17 out of 44. That's the first time being nominated. That is big. That's wonderful, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. very exciting. It is exciting. Can you imagine? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can only imagine because I've never been nominated. Mm. Maybe we can be for this year's Red Carpet Hosts. Oh, my dream would be Best Red Carpet Show. Now, wonderful nominees in yes. this category. Yes, let's talk. Oh, Bridget Christie, I've known for a long time. She's wonderful. Personally? Personally. Oh. I've known her for a long time since... Being a stand-up, she's a wonderful stand-up. Hysterical. Uh, and um, uh, one of the really lovely people, kind, wonderful performer. I'm so happy for her and her success. There's nothing better when these people that you've looked up to or watched on the telly or in film, and you meet them, and they're actually lovely people. I know, I know. I w it's the same when I met you. Doesn't it? Go on then. Well, obviously I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing to be terrified nothing about. Nothing to be frightened of, no. it turned out. I'm like a petite little flower. <laughs> yes, yes. English rose. Am I pushing yes. it? Um, yes, no, English rose. English, <laughs> English rose does sound like a drag queen, though, doesn't <laughs> it? That's a great That's name. That's a good name. English Why it hasn't rose. been taken, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. English rose, mm. English lavender. Mm-hmm. English petunia, I don't know. Sure, keep going. Yeah. English daffodil. English daffodil. Bridget oh. Christie. Bridget Christie, yes. <laughs> great name. Um, it's her first BAFTA TV award for her new show, The Change. Well done, her. It's great, really yeah. great, because I think I'm right saying Bridget wanted to make a show about the menopause and the fact that nobody talks about it. So. 
Well, the good thing is we're all talking about it now. Mm -hmm. And I, I am on this, this thing of where they should teach it in school because they teach mm. how not to get pregnant and they teach yeah. sexual education. Yeah. Then you should teach what's coming because nobody talks about it. It shouldn't be taboo because it happens to every single woman. So true. We don't talk about things enough. No. Especially and, British people. Oh, no, thank you. I no, know. we don't want to talk about it. We didn't even talk about not getting pregnant. No. But somehow I've managed to avoid it. So, uh, somehow, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bemisona Ikemele, lovely performer. Wonderful, wonderful performance in Black Alps. Yes. Um, wonderful, wonderful show. I would say both the lead performers in it are absolutely sensational. They really. And I, I believe they both got nominated. Yeah, yeah. So um, there you go. Yeah, for sure. Um, are there any people who stick out for you in these nominees? Taj Atwal. Oh, yes. Hull Razors. Anything in all. Well, you say you're northern. Yeah. Have you been to Hull? I have been to Hull. I've been to a lot of northern cities, and I love it. It's just, it's just, um, listen, I love all parts of the United Kingdom. You don't have to say There's that, something sure. about the north that is... Uh, Pulls to you. I just love it. You just it's love just, chips. I, I just love a chippy tea. I love a picky tea. <laughs> I just love northern people because they're they're loud and fun and funny yeah. and sweet and yeah. kind and and Hull is is like the San Francisco of, of it England. is. They do a great pride in Hull. They do and also yeah, it's some lovely places in Hull to go out mm -hmm. if you are a queer person. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I I've been there. I bet you have dabbled a bit in Hull. <laughs> dabbled a bit in Hull. Mm. I've held a bit in dabble. Mm. So <laughs> you can't complain. Just to recap, our nominees are Bridget Christie for The Change, Bemisola Ikemelu for Black Ops, um, Marie Tyers for Extraordinary, Roshin Gallagher for The Lovers, Sophia Oxenham for Extraordinary, and Taj Atwal for Hull Raisers. I love that. Oh, great lineup. Funny people, funny women. Mm. Also, first time nominees in there. Yeah, several. Yeah, Bridget, Roshin, Marie. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah. And there's nothing like that feeling of, you know, Acknowledgement yeah, of the hard work that you put in. Yeah, for sure. And I've got the male comedy here, male comedy performances. The nominees are Johnny Salmon, oh. David Tennant. Wonderful. Yes. Hamid Anamashwan. Oh, yeah. Jamie Demetriou. Oh. Joseph Gilgan. Oh. Mawan Rizwan. Oh, now, lovely people. This, the biggest shock of all of those incredibly talented nominees are, this is the first BAFTA TV Awards nomination for David Tennant. Is that right? Ever. I did not know that. Isn't that shocking? That's extraordinary. Ex that's exactly my reaction. Hang on, didn't he host the BAFTAs as well? Uh, absolutely, first time. Goes to show, doesn't it? You need to be working away for a long time. Huge star. And this is what happens. Yeah. Yeah. First time TV nomination for Ajani Salmon. Um, in 2022, he won Emerging Talent at the TV Craft Awards for the pilot of this show, Dreaming Whilst Black. Uh, which was then obviously commissioned to a full show. Uh, Hamid Anamashwan oh, for yeah. Black Ops, first so BAFTA TV Awards nomination. So funny. And Mawan Rizwan. So again, here, is that four or five out of the six? Three, six, yeah, five out of the six. Amazing. First time nominee. And Mawan, I've known a, a long time, and he's fabulous. And again, came up through a live comedy um, background. You know, it's a good training. It is good training. <laughs> it really is a good training. It's a tough training. And a lot of times... Um, it doesn't translate. Sometimes, yes. just because you have the comedy chops, yeah. you try to do TV or radio, it doesn't translate. For sure. But in these cases, it does, and they've gotten their BAFTA TV nomination. It's great to see. I love that. Um, I wanted to talk about the best drama series, and the nominees here are... Let's do it! The, the nominees here are The Gold, Happy Valley, Slow Horses, and Top Boy. All good. Oh, all good. All strong. Top Boy, very impressive. Strong. Very strong. Yes. But I know you're a big fan of Happy Valley. I am a big fan of Happy I mean, everybody was riveted. So couldn't leave the, the telly box. <laughs> and for me, it sounds I crazy don't, with it. I don't know why it makes me laugh so much you saying telly. It's just the accent. Yeah, no, I love it. It's a telly box. Well, you've, you've been here so long. I know you've adopted all of our little ways. Telly bobs. Um, <laughs> for me, that show was so riveting. And, and Sarah Lancashire is, is literally a gem. She Isn't is... She? Just a gift. I mean, Sarah Lancashire is one of the most extraordinary actors. Agreed. I, I mean, in this, she's playing this cop. In the, but then you turn over the channel, 
and then suddenly she's playing Julia Child. And how brilliant is she in that? Absolutely mesmerizing. Very upset that that didn't get a second. So am I. She was so good and I can't recommend it enough, but she oh. is a national treasure. She really is, and I think as well with Happy Valley, you see what an amazing ensemble cast it is. All of them have their own space on it, and they're all exquisite, I think. They're all Hi, James Naughton. <laughs> Hi. Maybe James Naughton will come and talk to you. I really hope so. I, if, imagine if I went over and talked to him, for, you would be furious. Be very upset. You I'd would, come over and step on your fallen you, arches. You probably would push me over the, over the barrier into the Thames. 100%. <laughs> no, I, then I'd rescue you because I'd feel guilty. Cause James Naughton would be so impressed. Yes, he will. It's, my, my muscles. It would just be a great night. Imagine if James Naughton jumped in after me. Uh, oh, you'd be furious again. I'd be jealous. I'm so jealous. Yes, you'd put yourself in. I would. Oh, it's going to be very tense on that red carpet. I can Can't feel wait. it now. Can't wait. Entertainment category. Go the nominees are Hannah Waddingham, Home for Christmas. Yeah, that's my friend. Isn't Hannah, Hannah Waddingham is incredible, isn't she? She is. But here's what people don't know: is she is just as wonderful off camera. She's nice. She's a lovely person. Theater person. That's your theater chops. There right you there. go. No better people. Later with Jules Holland, lovely person. Love. Oh, very nice person. Michael McIntyre's big show. Of course, I appeared on it. So. And everybody loves it. Oh, that show is. In every family's Everybody program. loves it. But it's a feel-good Saturday night show. And Michael so is hysterical, and he's just a very charming person. So funny. So yes. charming. So charming. Yeah. He was getting, um, he was getting sort of um, flown in a harness when I was there. When you were there? And um, it was taking a bit too long, and I did make fun of that. Did you? The audience laughed, but I don't think he did. <laughs> Can't be funnier than the host. Well, I don't know if I was funnier than you, Michael. But You're I, funny. I, I, do, well, You're I funny. do what I can. Yeah. Um, Should he come dancing as well? I'm familiar with that. I believe you may have some experience of it. Would you do it? You know, I'm flat-footed, and I said that to Shirley Ballas once, and she said, don't bother. She, Did she really? Well, no, she said, you shouldn't have told me that. You shouldn't have told me that. She won't remember. <laughs> she won't remember. <laughs> How many people does she talk to that have flat feet? Yeah, true. On so a continual basis. So many, does, does Strictly ever lose that category? Uh, I, I mean, they're always nominated, I think. Or they Deservedly often, so. I think because it's such a big juggernaut. I think it's the biggest television program in Europe. It is. For the record, I ask the execs every year if I can just do it, and I don't need to win. I just want to dance on it every year. It is the most fun I've ever had. Is it as fun as it looks? Because I've always thought it must be wonderful. It is the hardest job I've ever done right. as an adult. Right. Um, Almost more difficult than birthing two children. Wow. It's very, very difficult. Imagine if they combine those two things. Forget it. Giving birth on the dance floor whilst doing a cha-cha. Oh, my God. If, anyone's, if anyone can do it, it's you, Michelle. You are correct. Mm, okay. Though I think the birthing ship has sailed. But with that said, <laughs> the cha-cha ship has not sailed. <laughs> I'm pulling in. I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, moving on to entertainment performance. Oh. Yeah. So the nominees for that are Ant and Deck, obviously, from course, Celebrity Get Me Out of course, Here. Yeah. Big Zoo for Big Zoo's Big Eats. Uh, by the way, every series of Big Zoo's Big Eats has been BAFTA nominated. Is that right? Yes. That must feel really good. Yeah, imagine that See feeling every mean? morning when you wake up. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, I'd love to be there. Our friend Graham Norton for The Graham Norton Show. And I will say, I'm partial because he's my friend. But with that said, nobody interviews quite like Graham. Oh, and he puts in a shift there. He because does. Some of those big stars... They, you know, they not in. easy. They're not always. I don't think they're always that easy. They aren't. So you know, sometimes they haven't got the funny stories, but he has to pulls them out. Makes an entertaining show every it's time. Irish charm. Must be. Hannah Waddingham, yay uh, for the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. It's her first BAFTA TV Awards nomination, and she has had, obviously, two in one year. And do you know what is interesting about Hannah Waddingham is she's never presented anything before in her life. No. She'd never read an auto cue before she did that Eurovision. She's an actress. Well, you know, there's no better training, as I've said. There you go. Because Joe Lysett for Late Night Lysett. Oh, wonderful. And Rob Beckett and Romesh Ranganathan for Rob and Ramesh's... Versus. Yes. The first BAFTA TV Awards nomination for performance for Rob Beckett. And Rob and Ramesh is the first duo to be recognized under the new rules for this category. So now pairs who don't work exclusively together can be entered. And they are, of course, our fearless hosts of the so, BAFTA TV oh, Awards. It's going to be awkward if they win, though, isn't it? Who will... Where will they stand? Mm. They'll have to stand back and then they come forward. Yeah. And if they don't win, they're going to be standing there and everyone's going to look at their face. They're like, ooh, now you have to carry on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Mm. What would... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, thanks. Oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't no, care. No, Just an honor to be nominated. It's such an honor to be nominated. It actually is. Mm, apparently. Mm. I wouldn't know. 
um, factual series. We'll find out soon. Don't worry. We'll yeah, find out we'll soon. We'll find out. We're not bitter. We're actually really excited. We, oh, yeah. Right? No, you, yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, the thing is, we get to relax and enjoy it. Just chat to everybody. We've got no pressure. So fun. Yeah. You get to see what people are wearing. You get to see how they're looking before they're sweating. Because mm. no matter what, the ca you know, the cameras go on you when they're... Oh, yeah. And they call your names, and you have to have a reaction because otherwise, you'll, yes, you'll see it online, yes. and that meme will live on forever oh, and ever. You know, and there ever. are gay people out there who will read you to film. Will zoom in on that, and they'll share it and share it, make fun of it over and over. Use it on your your phone as a reply. Oh, no, can you imagine? Yes. Well, factual series okay. our nominees are Dublin Narcos, Evacuation, Lockerbie, and Once Upon a Time in Northern Ireland. Okay. It's very so Ire Ireland on there twice. Dublin Narcos. Yeah. And once once upon a time in Northern Ireland. Mm, absolutely. Hi, are you? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Um, yes. Well, I mean, very very serious, very serious program. Yes. They? Very serious. Factual. That's what factual Fact is. Factual. Yeah. Sometimes I get in at the end of the day and I think, oh, I'd love to, I'd love to watch some facts. Me too. And you know what I turn on? What do you do? Naked attraction. <laughs> Because it's very factual. Very factual. Yes. Very factual. Mm. I sometimes think they're a bit like a dumb waiter, aren't they? Yeah. There's, there's naked attractions. They just moves. deliver. They do, don't they? They just deliver. You pull up the dumb waiter thing, and there they are. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a terrible show. <laughs> I love it. It's I a love terrible it. show, but when I start watching it, I think, oh, I'll just watch it a bit. You further. can't stop. Because you want to hear their voice as well. Oh, do you? Well, only because often they have a very, you know, I might assume they will have a certain type of voice. And then they'll come out and talk like that. That's my favorite bit because yeah. that's when the people, they're not responding to the genitalia. No. They respond to the voices. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be go, ooh. Yeah. And it's like, really? Covered in tattoos, loads of muscles. Hello, yeah, I'd just, yeah. Really, I'd really like to say you on a day. Just goes to show you. Mm, goes to show you, never can tell. Mm. Um, and we've also got some international uh, right. nominees Hit here. Hit me. The nominees here are The Bear, <gasps> Beef, <gasps> Class Act, <gasps> The Last of Us. Wow. Love and Death. Oh my goodness. And Succession. How? What a combination. How what? BAFTA TV Awards with PO Cruises. How are you going to decide who is going to win that? How are you I going to decide mean, who is going to win that? Beef has been uh, having an extraordinary time. Everybody's been watching that, talking it's about it. It's hysterical. It's action. It's fun. But the bear oh. is like otherworldly. But then again, Succession. And then the la everybody's talking about The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. Apocalyptic, especially the, the storylines, which I'm not going to ruin for people who haven't seen it. And then, of course, Love and Death. But succe succession. succession. Huge juggernaut of a show. Massive. Like mm. one of the few shows that was the headline in every paper and on every mm. website and mm. on every news program. Do you know what I mean? You know, people come up to him and say, would you just tell me to f off? Right. And he has to go f off. Yeah. Which, I, you know, it's difficult if he is actually just wanting them to go away. Yeah. They say that to me, too, weirdly. Yeah, Brian different. Cox and I need to get together. That's a show I'd like to mm, see. Me too. Speaking of Brian Cox, leading actor, shall we? Shall we? Okay, the nominees are Brian Cox for Succession, mm -hmm. first BAFTA TV nomination since 1993. My goodness. Yeah. What was he nominated for then? Don't know. Don't know. So Should long know. ago, no Should one can know. remember. Should know. Anybody? Lost Language of Cranes. The Lost Language of Cranes. The Lost Language of Cranes. Oh, I know what the language was. What was <laughs> Oh, ah! I thought it was a crane on a building site. Oh, I thought it was a bird crane. Oh, well, Brian, well done for making that show because we all took it to our hearts. Yeah. And if it were cranes on a building, it would be like. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that would be more like. Oil can. <laughs> like that. How was my oh, uh, but That was good. Thank that you. was good. Thank Very you. good. And what was yours going to be? I was going to be the builder operator. Oi, oi, Savoy. Oh, oi. I'm going to go and have a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat? Maybe. I think I'd okay. want some sort of treat if I was working up a crane all day. Give me a break. Break um, me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> is that okay. the slogan? Yes, it is. Take a break. Take a Kit Kat. Was that one? Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Do you think it's moments like this which mean we'll never be nominated? Yes, for I, do, I do. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. Dominic West, obviously. Oh, what a guy. So talented. So talented. For the crown. Kane Robinson. Wonderful actor. Top Boy. First BAFTA TV Awards nomination. Papa Sidhu for The Lazarus Project. Or shall I say project. Steve Coogan for The Reckoning. We love Steve Coogan. And Timothy Spall for The Sixth Commandment. Do you know what I noticed in this country? I notice a lot because I... I love it here. It's my favorite place. I'm on the radio Michelle. here. I live here part time. We love having you. 
What I noticed was that we say sixth differently. How would you say it? Well, you say sixth, as in uh, S-I-K-T-H. That's true. But there's an X in that word. So you would say sixth. 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 There's no other. Uh. you say sixth? You say sixth. We say sixth. Sixth. Do you know what no, I meant? No, that's sixth. 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 Yes! Sixth. Yes! Oh my goodness. Stick your little tongue out at the end. Sixth. Sixth. Yeah. Sixth. Yes! Sixth. Just saying. There is an accent, huh? It's being ignored. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what, though? A lot of Americans say through wrong, wrongly. So they say, oh, I'm working Monday through Friday. Well, How do you say through? It's not, it's not the way you say through. It's just using the word through because if it's Monday through Friday, that means you finish on Saturday. Well, no, it's just you go through Friday. Monday through Friday because you're finishing at the end of the day Friday, so you're working through Friday. But then, but it suggests that it goes to Saturday. To the end of Friday. Which takes you into Saturday. The end of Friday. I don't, yeah. why not say it's Monday until Friday? You could say that too, but Monday through Friday is a thing. People are saying it here now as well, and I don't care for it. Do you not like it? It's an Americanism. You also say from 7 p.m. instead of at 7 p.m. Well, because we're late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's talk about leading actress. Oh, I can't wait. The nominees are Anyana Vassan for okay. Demon 79. Ooh. Part of Black Mirror. That's the Black Mirror. Yeah, Black yeah. Mirror episode. Uh, Anne Reed for the Sixth Commandment. Oh my God! Oh my goodness, you did, did it, it correctly. Right? I did it right. I did Sixth. It right. Sixth book. Um, <laughs> Bella Ramsey, The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Big. And that's Bella's first BAFTA TV award nomination. Uh, well, Helen they're like twelve. The, what, sorry? They're like 12 years old. Oh, yes. Not really, but they're, they're a child. Bella is very young. And, and talented. So talented. Yes, beyond. And this performance is extraordinary. Agreed. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter for Nolly. Sarah Lancashire for Happy Valley. Sarah Lancashire as well. People don't realise she's really posh. Because she does the Northern. Is she? Yeah, because she, she's in Happy Valley. She's like... Happy oh. Valley. She's like, Happy Valley. Yeah, yeah she's like... Oh, why You can't even do it. No, I know. Uh, but she's like... <laughs> Why did you go? You went and He's murdered everyone, didn't you? You murdered, you murdered my family. He said, Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Yeah. Happy Valley. Well done. But then, when you see Sarah Langshire, she talks like that. Does she? Absolutely. If she wins, thank you so much for all your support. All those years is Raquel. She was Raquel in Coronation yeah, Street. Yeah, I, I, I know. But all those years of talking like, like that, and she is posh. Well, sometimes she talks like that when she's, well, Julia, she's Julia Child. Well, she's Julia Child. True. In the end, she talks well, like that. By the way, Julia Child was mm. American. I know. I think I lapsed there a bit into... Okay. Mm, who did I become there? No, but Julia oh, Child... Edith Evans. I became Edith there Evans. Obviously. Sorry. It happens to me sometimes yeah. when I'm tired. Yeah. I turn into <laughs> Edith Evans. <laughs> We all do. <laughs> it happens. It happens to the best of us. It's actually you've yeah. recognized now. How are they going to pick a winner from that bunch? Did you and see? And Sharon Horgan as well. Don't <gasps> Let's forget Sharon Horgan. I love Sharon She Horgan. will tell me if she's left out. She will let me know. I love her. I love Bad but, Sisters. Le like, was amazing. Wasn't Bad Sisters great? Amazing. What? Because how do they make all of his actions so believable and so hateable? The, the brother in law. Incredible. Bastard. Incredible writing. Effort. Such a good series. Yeah. She was exec on that as well. Yes. Can you imagine that yeah. stress? Yeah. Yeah. She's brilliant. Execing and performing. Yeah. Oh, did you see Helen Bottom Carter and Nolly? Yeah. Nolly was a real person. She's very, very good in it. So I, I implore you to watch it. Because I love Larry Grayson. And I love Mark Gatiss. So it's a... Mark... A friend of yours? Oh. This, you know, that's the old way to do it. What? If you do the heart like <clears throat> this, yeah. you're old. What, what do they do now? The kids do this. <laughs> How long did that take me to do that? How long? <laughs> I felt like you were recovering from something and we needed to just make sure. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> this is how the kids do it. Can you do this? Can you do, Can you do um, that? Oh. Oh. No, the other way. Like that? No. Middle. Oh, that one? Yes. Oh. Oh, my this, this goodness. This is Gen Z, Gen oh. Z. This Gen is Z, millennials. And this is millennials. Much easier. What a faff. Mm. What a faff. It's so we should do this on the red carpet? Go. Yeah. Well, well do you well, half, like and half, a half and half? Half or something half. being able to do this. Half and half. Oh, that's a good idea. Heartstopper's so cute. Very cute, isn't I love it? it. Very cute. If I, I love had it. a story like that when I was growing up. Exactly. That's why it's very necessary. <laughs> Instead, all I had was Larry Grayson. And, but, but it worked out fine. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Okay, reality. Are we ready? You bet. The nominees are, for reality, Banged Up, 
Married at First Sight UK, mm -hmm. who doesn't love a bit of Married at uh, Maths. Maths, they call it. My mom, your dad. Oh, yes. Squid Game, the challenge. Now, apart from Married at First Sight, these are all new reality formats, which is very rare. Very impressive. Yes. I mean, banged up. Can you imagine being asked to do that? No. I mean, they didn't ask me to do it. I would have absolutely ruined that. Yeah, you would have. Absolutely fannied my way around 100%. that prison. I would have been like, this isn't the show we're trying to make. I think I would have been on your team. Oh my goodness, can you imagine the fun we'd have? Yes, we would have had a blast. Be people would be des would have redecorated, <laughs> would have taught how to do makeup with food. <laughs> yeah. Are these oats steel cut? Are they steel cut? Mm. Oats in the hole? <laughs> no. Cheetos mm. for blush. Oh, that, is that true? Is that what people do? Absolutely. Oh I see it all on TikTok. Goodness. Yep. What, prison makeup tips? Yes. How are they making TikToks in prison? Well, no, they're out of prison at this point. Oh, and then they it's make what it they up. did in prison. Oh, gosh, that's, like, ne that's never the bit they cover when I when I ask them about it. No, that's never the bit they talk about. No, what do they talk about? <laughs> well, in my mind, oh, it's never. There's not a lot of talking, is there? No, no. I did watch a film about it once, but I, I don't think it was a documentary. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Scripted comedy. The nominees are oh, yeah. Big Boys, <gasps> Dreaming Whilst Black. Extraordinary, and such brave girls. Very, very impressive list of, of pieces there. Yeah, and it's always interesting to me. Honestly, it really is. Like we were just talking about with Sarah Lancashire or with Happy Valley or um, with Nolly. I don't know how they decide, because yeah. some of them are so yeah. neck and neck. How yeah. do you, it's like the gay Sophie's choice, which it happens really a lot. It really is. <laughs> it happens a lot in my world anyway. <laughs> the gay Sophie's choice. Yes. What would that be called? Sophie's Choice. Yeah. Just be called, be called Sophie's, Sophie's Choice. choice. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, Big Boys, I think, is, is an extraordinary piece of writing. Mm. Um, Jack, I know, I've known for uh, a while, a long time, and he's worked a long time to get that. But I mean, all those nominees are great. That's the thing. Mm. So it'll be fun to see how it plays out. And mm. you never know. And then, of course, there's always um, the after party. So. Yes, absolutely. So you going to do a costume change? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Mm. Are you? Yeah. You're going to do a costume change probably mid red carpet. Absolutely. Probably four times. Maybe. They'll all have gone in. If Cher could do it, I can do it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Thank Come you. Come out dressed as Cher at one point. I would love to. Well, if it's if this is if there's any day to do it, it's, it's this one. It's BAFTA. Yes. Yeah. Who else would you do? Um. Yeah. Well, visually, that's mm. the most stunning. Sure. Meaning for me, it's the e mm. it's. Uh, how dare I say it's the easiest transformation, but yeah. black hair, it's, it's easy. Like if I were to come out as Dolly Parton, we'd notice a major difference in well, many categories, not just hair color. Well, look, it's all about dressing up. You don't have to be exactly like her. It's true, it's just an homage, isn't it? It's just an homage. Yeah. Did you say in it? In it. So, so British. But do you say that, because you're posh. Would you say in it? No. No. But I'm not real posh. Um, I'm are you? Affected. No, my family are from, they'd say in it. Where what? are you from? Uh, South London. So how do you end up talking because like? Because I'm gay. Oh. And Are you? Well, oh. I help out when they're busy. I, yeah, no, I'm I'm from a no normal talking family. Oh, I love that accent as well. Oh, do you? I do. Oh, I come really, round. really do. Come round for Sunday lunch. Can I? Yeah. Sunday lunch. So yeah, come round for a roast. There you go. Yeah, come round for a roast. That makes me happier. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Supporting actor, the nominees here are Amit Shah for Happy Valley. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, go on. He, he was great. Great. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. He was the chemist, wasn't he? Yeah. He, yeah. And this is uh, his first BAFTA TV award. The guy was given the drugs. Yeah. Very, very complex character, I thought. Very. Very watchful, very interesting. Uh, Aina Hardwick for the sixth commandment. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What, that program is wonderful. Yes. Timothy Spall is wonderful. It's great. Deserves all the accolades. Another first BAFTA TV award nomination. Mm -hmm. Harris Dickinson for A Murder at the End of the World. Ooh. Another first nomination. Okay. Jack Lowden for Slow Horses. Mm -hmm. Matthew McFadden in Succession. He won this category in 2022 for his role in Succession and also in 2010 for his role in Criminal Justice. Okay. Very talented. Let's just show off Matthew Thank McFadden. Thank you. Okay, we'll get it. We're just sitting by this borrowed one. Yeah. So. I wonder whose that is. Don't know. And Salim Dor for The Crown. Uh, and Jack Lowden and Harris Dickinson are former EE e. Rising Star nominees at the BAFTA Film Awards. There you go. So, goes to show. The yeah. system works. All ties in. Mm. Sporting actress. The nominees are Elizabeth Debicki, The Crown, 
first BAFTA TV Awards nomination, Harriet Walter, Succession, uh, first BAFTA TV Awards nomination, Jasmine Jobson for Top Boy, nominated for all three series of Top Boy she's appeared in, Leslie Manville for The Crown, Nico Parker Ooh. for The Last of Us, that's Tandy, oh. Tandiwe Newton's yeah. daughter, first BAFTA TV Awards nomination, beautiful, talented kid, she's got a future and a half, and then one of my favorites, in everything that she does, I really want to talk to her on a carpet. Siobhan Finneran for Happy Valley, but to me, it'll always be about one of the greatest shows to ever be on British telly. Da, 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 da. Nope. Oh. Ben Adorm. What's the point in this? Do you quit? Yeah. Do you resign? One of the best shows to ever. I bet that's right up your straws, isn't oh, it? Oh my goodness, yeah, to the point you know, where I want to go to Alicante. I want to go. Do you know what? Alicante is a great city. See? And there's some lovely restaurants there. I want to go. And do you know what's great about it? Because I've been there a long time with, a lot of times with my mother. And did I mention I'm gay? And um, <laughs> they, you can go with you can, me now. You, yeah, you can come too if you want. Thank yeah. you. Mom, me, you we're going to bring Michelle. Yeah. All right, Michelle. Yes. Um, all right, she call you Shell. Isn't it, Mom? She call you Shell. Yes, Mom. We go, you go to Alicante, fly to the airport, and then it's like 20 minutes and you're in your hotel. I am so about that. Mm. I want to stay at the Solana. I want to do oh. everything that they did, and I want to talk to Siobhan <laughs> about it. Of course, she's done a million shows that I have seen all of them. She did yeah. camping and all these. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's just been Miss in. Miss O'Brien. I just love her so much. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, she was in. Yes. Up down, downtown. Uptown. Downtown Abbey. Up <laughs> upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go upstairs. She was downstairs. She was upstairs. Downstairs. Yeah, yes. she was. Downtown. I just downtown Abbey. Yeah. I do not mm. say that. No, I, I meant know. uptown, downtown in the house. Uptown, downtown. Downtown Abbey. And downtown. And High Clear Castle. I know. Have you, have you been there? You no, but I heard it's amazing. And apparently the did tours are booked up. You can't get on the tours. Did you know Katie did Price married Peter Andre at High Clear Castle? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. That was before Downton Abbey. In the pink dress. Really? Yeah. I did Cooking with the Stars with Peter Andre just a year ago. Did you? He is lovely. He is lovely. You can see why he works. And listen. I love Katie too. Mm. I love her. We've got we've got a history, and I absolutely will defend her. I love her. And Arlene Phillips said to me, "I love Arlene, Arlene also." Arlene say that. Um, said Peter Andre always works very hard. Whenever he's been in Greece, works very hard. Really? So it goes to show. I love hard that. work pays off. So should we tour High Clear Castle together with Mum? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Good. Let's go now. It's a date. We've got P and O Cruise's memorable moment award. The nominees are. Oh, it's not a moment on a cruise. No, I, if it were, oh my goodness, we can give them a lot. I can tell you, Many. I've got some memorable ones. Oh, honey, do we some, ever? Yeah, I say, don't yeah. get me started. No, on, on the hot tub. No, God, no. They After called, I think they called it a jacuzzi. Did jacuzzi they? Jacuzzi at the time, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Remember those days? Yeah, when did jacuzzis become hot tubs? I don't know. So P and O Cruises Memorable <laughs> Moment Award. Now mm. the nominees are Beckham, which, by the way was very good. Very funny. I didn't expect to be so emotionally invested. I think with them, you can't help it. It was so good. Mm. I actually felt for him. I had no idea what he went through. Oh, yeah. People were, I mean, he Brutal. was- Brutal. But also, what I remember growing up is he was one of the few people who actually like would wear a sarong, would do something extravagant. Yeah, say, I remember. Really challenge. Yes. You know, like challenge stereotypes of like what a football, I like, love that. what a bloke is supposed to be. It's I think the he's moment very where wonderful. David teases Victoria about her working class upbringing. You know, oh, when she yeah, said the Rolls Royce. Yeah. yeah, great. Doctor Who, Chuti Gatwa being revealed as the 15th Doctor, which is oh, a big deal. Big deal. Yeah, that was very beautifully done. Happy Valley. Catherine K. Wood and Tommy Lee Royce's final kitchen showdown. Do oh, you yeah. remember? <sighs> oh, there is a reason to not wear synthetic fabrics. Thank you. He went, he went up, didn't he, like a firework? Up. Yeah. Up. Get your smoke alarms tested right now. Is it wrong? What was the name of the town that it was in? Happy Valley. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, um, no, Hebden no, no. Bridge. Hebden Bridge. Was it Huddersfield? No, there was another town. Halifax? Halifax, thank oh, you. Yeah. Um, is it wrong that I would like a guided tour of Halifax? And also, is it wrong that I found Tommy Lee Royce extremely sexy? Oh, my goodness. Now, he's somebody I'd like to be in that program banged up with. Same. And then yeah, go on a P&O cruise with. Oh, my goodness. And he would love that because he'd be escaping... And in such a lovely way, such a stately manner. And then you and I can just kind of oh, take yeah. either and like when he tries to escape, you're there like, no, 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 no. No, no, and Tommy then, Royce. Thank you. Sit down, play your Xbox. Yeah. He's always playing in his Xbox, isn't he? He can play. He can play Anytime Xbox. Anytime he wants. Um, the Last of Us, She's Bill and Frank's 
Sorry. Bill and Frank's <clears throat> story. Did you watch The Last of Us? No. Oh, Bill and Frank's is story. It, is it the sequel to This Is Us? No. Oh, that's Very a different. shame. Yeah. Oh, no Mandy Moore in this one. Mandy Moore. No. Gosh, she, she got through some wigs, didn't she? She sure did. <laughs> she she sure did. did. It was like, is it the past or the future? They just no. shoved those wigs on. Got kind of confusing, which is why I think it ended. Yeah, I mm. think it got too much for people. Yeah. Too many wigs. Was yeah. it the curly perm? Was it the short pob? Mm. Bob, um, which era are we in? Which era are we in, Mandy? Yeah. Glasses. She had the big '70s glasses, yes. like she was in Tootsie. No, no. So died. no, not that scene. It was the gay. It's the gay storyline, which oh, came sorry. out of nowhere. Oh. So you're a very supportive gay man. Yeah. Mm, to be honest, I think there's too much. The <laughs> I think I probably have something to do with that. <laughs> The piano, 13-year-old Lucy <sighs> stuns commuters with jaw-dropping piano performance. Her performance is amazing. Tis. It's. I mean. I like to play the piano a little bit. Do you? But, um, oh, Michelle, I'm full of talent. Are you a pianist? People shout that at me quite a lot. Mm, I heard. And um, I was on, <laughs> <laughs> I was on the Christmas special of the piano. Were piano. you? Yeah. And um, I was dreadful. And, oh no. And because you get nervous, and you've got these train announcements going on, and all these people like just waiting for their train, and then suddenly you turn up and start banging out a few tunes on mm. the Joanna. That's Cockney rhyming slang for piano. Oh, but that's odd because piano has an O. No, you're thinking of piano. I'm thinking of piano. Piano, piano cruises. cruises. Piano. Uh, play piano. That. Is that piano. the female version of a piano? Oh, you know, that's interesting, maybe. Because, you know, apples and pears make sense. Stairs. Right. But, um, well, I think it's because people in London often say, piano, gotta go play a, play a song about piano. I'll take that. So they barely say the word. Yes. I mean, I feel like people learning English as a, as a second language must have the most awful time it's if they come to London. It's a difficult language. I get out of here all the time. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. You're actually turning me on, so you might want to stop that. Please. And then it's succession, Logan Roy's death. Sorry if that was a spoiler alert. Sorry. Yeah. If you haven't already, please remember to cast your vote for the P&O Cruises Memorable Moment Award in the link. Well, over 100 programs across 12 streamers and broadcasters nominated across the TV Awards with P&O Cruises and the TV Craft Awards. You can see the full list of wonderful nominees on the BAFTA website. That's BAFTA.org. So we've looked back on the best telly of 2023, but Tom, is there anything you're looking forward to seeing in 2024 and to see at next year's awards? Oh, that's very interesting. <clears throat> you know what I really enjoyed <clears throat> is... Um, <clears throat> um, your your show, which is the um, the one with Cher in it. <laughs> yes, RuPaul's Drag, Drag, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, that would be great. Has RuPaul's Drag Race never been up for anything? We have, just not this year. Awkward. Uh, oh, yeah, no. no, we have. We we just never won because, quite honestly, how does one beat Strictly Come Dancing? I was going to say in the camp stakes. Yeah. Asking for a friend. Yeah, I. Uh, you know, you're right. Who's got the Who's got the most wigs? Yeah. Mandy Moore. Probably. <laughs> More in This Is Us. This Is Us, yeah. 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 Mm. But, well, Michelle, Anything I'm Anything else you're looking seeing, forward to seeing? No, just RuPaul's Drag Race, Thank actually. You. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Never asked me to be a judge, though, did they? Oh, wow. That's awkward oh, as well. Really I'm going to have to take care of that. Would you? Yeah. I, I'm always too abashed to ask. I feel like I could put in a good word for myself, but I'm always too shy. You're being very British. Very, very, very British. I'm going to rub some New Jersey on you. Hey, Which rapport, is, give me a job there here. There you go. Hey, a little gay over here. Just yeah. do a little bit of judging. You should. You like absolutely should. I'd love to sit there. Would you? Oh, yeah. Then we'll arrange that. Well, thank you for joining us. And don't forget to tune in and discover the winners of this year's BAFTA TV Awards with Piano Cruises on the 12th of May at 7 o'clock on BBC One and on iPlayer. And before those BAFTAs are handed out, join us live from the red carpet over on BAFTA's social channels. We... We'll see you then. We can't wait.